Can I talk about something? Parents. Or should I say people who have children. You are partly responsible for how your children turn out. I truly believe that. If you go in the Bible, and I may not have the scripture, I may not say it 100% correctly, but I believe the Bible says, train your children on the way they should go. And when they are ordered, they won't depart. Something like that. They won't depart from it. Something like that. And the Bible speaks about discipline. And I believe the Bible speaks about spanking your children. And some people may say that their children are their friends. I believe you can be friendly with your children, but I believe there have to be a boundary line. What am I saying? I don't believe you can be friends exactly friends with your children. Now, I believe there is a, what word am I trying to use? Ranks. I believe the way it is, is God, the man, the woman, and children. As in the husband, the wife, and children. That is that is what I mean. Order, the order have to be respected. The child and the adult, the husband or wife, they can't be seen as equals. So the husband and the children can't be seen as equals. The, the wife and the children cannot be seen as equal. You can be friendly with your children, but don't. But you, I don't believe you can be friends. There have to be respect. There's a boundary line. For instance, with my friend, I may be able to say this to him. I may be able to say that to him, which I don't have a male friend. But some things I can say to my, <laughs> let's say, if I did have a friend. So some things I can say to my friend I can't say to my mom or dad because there have to be respect there. Now, let's say that you don't care about what I am talking about and you see yourself as a friend to your children. So when they act up, let's say you don't discipline them. They can call you rude names like, you know, I don't say these words in my everyday life, but let me say them now. Let's say you let your children call you stupid, fool. I don't even like to say those words. Stupid, fool, idiot, moron. Let's say you let your children yell at you and all this stuff like that. Now, what are they going to do when they are ordered. Let's say you let your children, and when I say children, for this, what I'm speaking about right now, your smaller children. Let's say you let your children 
hit on you and stuff like that. What do you believe they are going to do when they are older? I believe there is a high chance your children will even more disrespect you, even more hit on you. So why would you wonder what is wrong with my child? It is you. It is the way you raised your children. Don't. If you smoke marijuana, if you drink alcohol, don't do it in front of your children. How can you say, hey, child, you know, your younger children, you see me doing this evil like you see me doing evil things. Let me say it in another way. Don't. Let's say you say to your child, don't drink alcohol, don't smoke marijuana, don't cuss at your mom even though you see me doing it. So you are doing those things. How can you say the bad things you see me doing, don't do it? No, I believe they are going to do it. This is one of the reasons I know the Bible says back in Genesis to be fruitful and multiply. And I may be wrong about this. I would say, I believe uh, raising children is very, very difficult. And I would say, if you are not willing to raise children properly, don't have them. Because I believe so many kids that turn to adults are so messed up. Probably one of the primary reasons is because how their parents raised them. How are you going to have a child? but not place effort into training them. How are, you going, how are you going to have a child and neglect them? How? Then you, let's say you do this, you smoke around your child, you drink around your child, you disrespect your husband uh, and wife around the child. Let's say you do so many bad things around your child and you expect, and you may expect that child to be like Jesus when they become adults. And you may say, I wonder why they turned out this way. Wasn't it you? Wasn't it you? I believe if you have a child and let's say they are talented and they go to the NFL or the NBA. Now, you would probably take credit for their success, right? Like, hey, I am their mother, I am their father, and yes, you know, because of me, they succeeded so well. If your, if your child go to Harvard or MIT or like a prestigious university, you would probably take credit for it, right? Like, hey, I am that person's mother or father, right? But when the child turns out really bad and is a burden to society, do you take credit for it? Or do you say, hey, I don't know why that person 
turned out that way. I believe much of the time you have to look at yourself and you may say, Kevin, you know, at the time I was not thinking well, you know, I know I was a bad father or mother. Okay. I understand that. But I am not saying to condemn yourself. But you can't really separate. I believe much of the time you can't really separate your children's actions from how you raise them. I know sometimes you may raise a child very well and they may turn out bad, but I believe much of the time the child is going to turn out a bit similar to how you raised them. I hope this makes sense. So if you have a child and still Bible principles in them. Have them read the Bible. Some people may just allow their children to, you know, watch cartoons and play on a tablet and mess like that. No. Read the Bible with your child. Force them. Force it. Yes. Force them to pray. Force them. I believe many children small children you know they learn how to dance they learn how to cuss they learn how to do very bad things so they can't learn to read the bible they can't learn to pray they can't learn to fast no train up the child I'm not saying the scripture right. <laughs> Train up a child in the way they should go. I wish I had it on me right now. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Uh, I got time. Train up a child in the way they should go. I believe it is in Proverbs 22 and 6. Let me look at it. And let's go to the King James Version. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So what does that mean? The parent has something to do with how their child turns out. Right? You can't really separate your parental skills or ability, I guess I can say, with how the child turns out. I believe some people are so concerned about the child becoming successful when they are older, make sure they go to a good college and make sure they are able to make so much money. Okay, but I believe the focus is so much on this world. I believe this world is temporary. So you are, if this is true about you, you are training your child on things that are temporary. Like you are making it the main focus, temporary mess. But are you really instilling, if I am saying that word right, are you really training your child in the way of the Bible primarily? And I think the answer to that for many people is no. I truly believe it. I hope this all makes sense.
You have to discipline your children. You have to. The Bible says it. You have to. I believe there is another scripture that says that you hate your child or something if you don't discipline them. Let me see if I can find that. If I am saying that correctly too. A parent hates their child if they don't correct them. I think that is Proverbs 13 and 24. Let's go to that. Let's go to some scriptures. All right. He that spareth his rod hateth his son. But he that loveth him chastiseth, chasteneth, chasteneth him be times. And you may ask me, what that is that saying? Now, if you go to, I don't like the New Living Translation. But uh, if you go to the Expanded Bible. Let me see. If you do not punish your children, you don't love them. But if you love your children, you will correct them. And going back to the King James Version, I believe spareth the rod can mean not spanking your children. Sometimes I get very surprised when I see some little small children. How can I say this? Sometimes I get really surprised when I see parents allowing their children to hit them. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't understand it. I can see if they are playing around. Okay. But sometimes when I see it, the child is hitting their mom when they are angry or when the mom told the child to stop. If you don't discipline your child, your child is going to be, I believe your child is going to be a burden to you or I believe very disrespectful to you. So I hope all of this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.